I'm the hottest round. I told y'all mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, again, I'm going to be doing another water test. Now, as you all know by the previous video that I've just released, I was doing a water test with the Sally Burt test kit, and I, I knew I was doing something wrong, and it wasn't until I started reading the comments that I actually realised where I went wrong and I was measuring everything wrong and that was why I was getting the wrong results. So I got into a bit of a panic and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna test it with the JBL Combi Set Test Marine because I use this all the time and I never have any problems. So I thought, I might as well record it and show you just how easy it is. So we'll move this out of the way and we get our colour chart up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to measure five mils of tank water with our syringe, which I've already done, and we're going to use the KH. Now, we just add this a drop at a time, and we count the drops, and we will watch it change from blue to yellow. So, once I've opened it, we've given it a good shake. So, we add them one at a time. One and we shake it each time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. It's changing colour. Eight. Is it the same colour? No, I give it one more. I give it one more. Nine. Right, okay, that's nine drops. Now, as you can see, it has changed and it's gone to the yellow that it says on there. So it is yellow. And that was nine drops, which is what it should be. So that salivate test that I did, I must have done it completely wrong. And I'm definitely not panicking now because I know that my KH is in the right place. So nine drops means that if I get my little chart up, you get a little chart here with JBL and you get a chart and it says here, KH, carbonate hardness, and it says the required value is between 7 and 10. Now, I got 9, which is what I got at the beginning when I started testing. I did drop to 6, but then it did go up slowly back to the 9. So it's back at the 9 now. In fact, it didn't leave the 9. It's just the fact that I was stupid. I did do the test wrong. And yeah, so I'm happy with the results. I'm not going to delete the Sally Bert video because I am going to do the test again and I will upload it but I'm waiting for Mr Billy Pipes to do his video because he's been shown how to do it the correct way by the people at Sally Bert. so I'm going to watch his video and then I'm going to do it again so hopefully when I do it properly we will get proper results. So from me and JBL Tesket, I hope you have a great evening. I might do another video a little bit later on, but we'll see. I don't want to bombard you all with loads of water test videos, but it's fun. I love water testing, and if you've got a salt water tank, make sure you do your water tests, because it's, it's good to know what's going in it. Because the way I see it is, if you're going to go and cook a meal, you're going to follow a recipe you know exactly what's going in that pan so your fish tanks pretty much similar you need to know what's going in and you need to be able to test it so using either salivate or jbl or even api make sure you test your tank 
So from me, Sag Daily Babe, have a good one. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and drop me a comment below. Bye.